Okay, hello everyone, Clark Towson here. I'm the CEO of INTJ Billing. I want to talk a little bit about uh, yesterday, day one, uh, of being here on location in Soy 6. Much of the, uh, the time when I got here, of course, I was uh, setting everything up and uh, just getting, getting my thoughts, um, collecting my thoughts and uh, just thinking about how I'm going to proceed towards the end of uh, yesterday, um, just before it got dark, I did go out into Soy 61. I had a chat with a couple of uh, the transsexuals who were working there. And, um, <clears throat> well, I'm mightily discouraged at the moment, let me just say that. Um, and there is a, obviously there is a language barrier. There is, uh, it can be quite frustrating, even though I speak some Thai, um, trying to get it through the heads of um, the people exactly what I'm doing here, what I'm trying to achieve. So the first two lady boys I spoke to couldn't really understand me and vice versa. Um, so, which <laughs> it was a weird interaction because I speak Thai and I went up and I said, Sawadi kap, kun sawadi mai. Hello, how are you? Kun chuarai, what is your name? They couldn't even give me their name right? <laughs> they couldn't even give me their name. And I'm thinking, are these people just out of their fucking minds? Um, what is going on here? Because whenever I've asked a Thai that question, Kun Chuarai, they've come back and they've told me their name. These two couldn't even do that. And I'm thinking, huh, this is not a good start, right? I thought to myself, all right, the other issue was, as soon as they saw me, they were looking at me like I was just another customer, right? Just another guy who's here uh, to engage their services. And that is what they're used to. That is what they know. That is, um, you know, they understand sex and money, right? All right, so that's, that's an issue that I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with. It may be that I need to hire a female to work directly with me here in Soy 6. Um, possibly you know, a female translator and some a female to hand out flyers or a female to go and speak to the women and the lady boys um, so that they're not looking at her as just another client, okay? I think that is important. I think I'm going to probably have to do that um, depending on how today goes uh, as well. So, yeah them looking at people in this environment looking at me as just another customer that's a problem i may actually need to um, perhaps even approach brian flowers um i've met brian before uh top bloke i might need to ask him if i can buy a night wish uh, t-shirt um i think that would be a way for me to uh, look like i'm not just another customer that you know i do work here <laughs> you know or i'm running a project here something like that so you know, a Nightwish t-shirt would be very valuable to me at the moment. Um, I'm thinking also I'm going to need to make up my own t-shirts, not just with Bitcoin and the Bitcoin Lightning Network and BTC Pay, but I'm going to need to make some INTJ billing t-shirts. Um, and I have to get my logo recognized within this environment. Everyone knows and understands the Nightwish logo, right? There's a, the Nightwish logo is a big sign up in, in Soy 6 and uh, a lot of the employees of the bars, the managers and other people of the bars that are owned by the Nightwish group are wearing Nightwish branded uh, t-shirts. So I think that's something that I'm going to have to follow suit on and have my own um, branded t-shirts uh, made up very, very soon. So yesterday, after the interaction with the transsexuals, I came back here um, to uh, to the office and I actually wrote a pro a very short project brief page okay and I'm going to I'm, I'm going to go through it um, quickly with you now now I've, I've written it in English but I've also converted it to Thai and uh, I went back down and um, just on my way out yesterday as I was going back to City Garden I um, showed one of the transsexuals who couldn't understand me at the start 
the project brief page in Thai, and I think she had some understanding of what I was uh, what I was doing because she mentioned that she has PayPal and she has Wise. But okay, so she understands enough that all right, I'm doing payment technology here. So the project brief page is, um, and it's in Thai as I said, but I'll speak in English. It's simply, my name is Clark Towson. I work here in Soy6. I'm a computer scientist. I work with Bitcoin. Please add me to your Facebook. I'm running a private research, <clears throat> private research project. I am not here to be your customer. And that's bolded and that's underlined and that's in, in yellow, yellow highlight, right? I'm here to help other Farangs pay you using Bitcoin, which I will convert to Thai Bart for you. I have an office at the Queen Vic in room 220. I can offer you 200 baht in cash if you help with me with my project. I'll make a website um, like this, and then I've got an example website, uh, the one that I created, the payments page that I created for uh, Lady Boy Oil. And uh, so Farangs can send you money, right? So that's all, all in Thai, um, and that's what I can... That's what I can show, show people um, in SOI 6.1 or in, in SOI 6. Now, some other thoughts that I've been having um, after day one. Initially, when I came here, I thought, all right, I don't want to go direct to the, uh, direct to the sex workers. I want to deal with the business people, right? And it's becoming increasingly clear that, uh, and depending on how today goes as well, but I think... My initial, uh, my initial thoughts were right that um, I really need to be dealing um, with the business owners of these bars, okay, instead of directly with the girls. I think dealing with the owners is, I still think, you know, that's the way to go. Um, and I think I'm, I'm going to have to go back to, to that, that approach. Um, maybe that, I mean, I'm offering 200 baht directly to the girls. I may need to approach the owners of the bar and say, right, every one of you girls, I'll pay uh, 200 baht um, to you if I can set them up a Bitcoin wallet and how you divvy up that 200 baht, what percentage you keep yourself and what percentage you give to the girls is up to you. And I think I may need to, may, may need to go with that approach um, instead. As I said, I might need to hire a Thai translator to work with me here. On location in Soy 6, it will be a female for the reasons as I discussed, um, because everyone here sees me as a as just another um, just another walking ATM, right? I have considered um, getting back in contact with Lady Boy Oi, who is a friend of mine I've known for five or six years, and uh, she had a good understanding. She understands English very well. I think uh, I could work with her on location. She's transgender. She can liaise with the rest of the transsexuals here, um, speaks to them in Thai. Um, I think that would be, that, that's an avenue that I'm considering. Right. Yeah, um, it is an avenue that I'm considering. I think, you know, the title to these videos, um, the overriding theme is Bitcoin is for everyone. So that includes sex workers and their clients. One of the problems uh, that I've come up against is the complexity of Bitcoin. Now I've made everything as simple and easy as possible, right? Farang sends Bitcoin, sex worker receives it directly in Thai Bart. Just go to Western Union, pick it up. But if I can't even get that simple concept through the heads of these people, and I've got a problem, right? Um, and as I said, I think uh, one of the comments I got from a friend who knows this location well is that, look, Clark, these are farm girls, right? All they understand is sex and money. Yeah, it's a fair comment, right? It's a fair comment in many ways, right? Um, I have to recognise that there is a large gap between the level of human development of the girls and my level of human development, okay? 
to recognize that fact, right? There's a difference in IQ, there's a difference in a level of education and training, uh, there's the language barrier. These are all issues, right? All issues. I do have a translator in Bangkok who can professionally translate uh, for me, and she's done an excellent job in the past. I'm considering going back to her, and um, her name's Sky. Saying, "Look, Sky, really need some professional uh, translation done for me. Um, I've done my best, um, but my best perhaps isn't good enough because I can't get through to to some of these people uh, uh, what I'm doing." The other consideration uh, is a Thai marketing person, right? Thai marketing, Thai advertising. If you turn on the television here in Thailand or just look around at some of the, the advertising signs, everyone, well, it's the same story as in the West in terms of smiling, happy people, you know. Um, but I think the Thais take it to the nth degree when it comes to smiling, happy people. Uh, and obviously, you know, I'm a serious person and... Um, perhaps I'm not the best person to be fronting uh, the business uh, from a sales, marketing and advertising perspective. So I have to have to consider that as well. I may need to bring on a, a time marketing person uh, as a contractor to work with me on this. All right. The brochures. Going to uh, down to Soy 6, one, handing out brochures may not be the best approach. I may, um, because regardless, the girls see me as a customer, right? And they're treating me as a customer wherever I walk. So I'm thinking of trying a different approach. I'm thinking of going down there and um, going up to each, starting in Soy 6 one, going up to each of the lady boys, introducing myself and asking them uh, what their Facebook, are they on Facebook? Please add me to your Facebook. And that's it, right? Say, so, um, you know, hello, how are you? Uh, do you have Facebook? Yes, great. What's your Facebook? Let me add you or you add me. That's it. And I go and collect everyone's Facebook um, detail. And then I come back here to um, the room and then I contact them from here and send them marketing material in Thai. Okay. Um, whilst they're sitting out there, they can be thinking about it without me there, without the pressure of thinking, all right, um, you know, I need to convince this guy to go with me to make money, maybe they can look at my, my flyers and, and think about it that way. So that's something that I think I'm going to that I'm going to do. I'm going to change that approach to this approach for today. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking then I can send them a photo of the room and they can say, oh, this guy set up an office. Right? Right? So... As I said, there's a, uh, a couple of business people that, I'm, that I've met in this location. Uh, Brian Flowers being one of those people. Um, Scott Griffiths is another um, person that I know over at Sensations Bar. Um, a couple of other people as well thinking might be best to just um, approach them again and um, literally just say, okay, I would be spending this amount of money, time and effort on sales, marketing, and advertising, which I think is, uh, you know, I'd much rather just see the money go directly to you. So here's X number of baht, right? Send me you girls, let me set up, set up Bitcoin wallets for them. Shit, I just think it's gonna be the better approach, right? I think it's a, a, the better approach, right? Um, the other thing I'm thinking of is uh, day labor here in, in Pattaya. If anyone is watching this video and knows where I can hire people here in, in, in Pattaya, um, you know, day labor, that please let me know because I'm, I'm going to need some assistance uh, to work with me on this sort of stuff, right? So those are the issues from, from day one. Um, it's important, given that this is an open source project, that I be open and transparent and talk to you all about the issues that I am uh, experiencing here on, on location. I'm going to try to make a video like this every day that I'm here in Soy 6. You know, as I 
last night as I was looking out the window. I actually spent quite a bit of time just looking out the window, just watching watching the girls and seeing their behaviour and the way that they operate. It's very different being over here, um, you know, being in this office and look, peering down and watching things and not being a participant in any of it, just seeing the way everything works. And obviously it's very different when you are working in an environment or that you're doing an activity, uh, a vlogging activity within an environment and you're not directly participating within the, in, in, within the nightlife itself. So you start to see uh, all the business aspects that perhaps um, you know, you, or you've seen them before, uh, they become a whole lot more clear. Um, and obviously this location is one about uh, you know, women and transsexuals working to make money from, from men. So us Varangs are walking ATMs. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to change uh, in terms of how people see me or how the ties in this location see me as a, as a walking ATM um, unless, as I say, I start walking around with a Nightwish t-shirt on or uh, an I Work Here t-shirt or an INTJ Billing t-shirt, I Work Here, something like that. Um, for that I'm going to have to do that, that that's for sure. All right, that's it from me for this video. All the best, everyone. I'm Clark Towson, CEO of INTJ Billing.